Hi everyone, uh, today I'm going to do a glass clock. I have um, done one on this, and this is what I'm going to cover, which I'm not keen on. Um, it's sort of a brown and bronze, uh, rose gold colour it was. Uh, but I'm not that keen on that, so I want it a bit brighter. So I'm going to, um, I've left the old there, so I'm hoping that the designer will run it into the old. Uh, and then I'll cover it over with tape. Uh, just as I've, I've done it before it runs off too much. I've mixed the, the paints previously uh, with the glass paint by Scola and uh, around about 20, 20 to 25% glue. So it's um, quite a thin mix. And I'll show you, show you where it's like. <coughs> So it's quite a thin mix, so I'm hopefully that it's not too runny. Um, the colours I have today, what I've used, is um, yellow, red, green, purple, and just the tiniest, tiniest bit of black. I ran out of blue, so um, I'm trying to match the coasters, which I did the other day. So um, I'll show you them afterwards, the dry, the near enough dry them now. So I'm going to try um, try with uh, six of these. This is the amount I've got in each little tiny container, which is hardly anything. I'd say, I'd say not even, maybe an ounce of that. I wouldn't say that even. <laughs> so um, the six of them, so there's only a tiny bit of glass paint because it does go a long way. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna try now and flip all these around the um around the record. So that's a bit too far near the end, I think. <laughs> Never mind. The courses, of course, I just put the um, the perspex over the top. Not really good at left handed here, so I don't know what these will be like. No, not bad. <laughs> I'll see if I can get um, the one there. Uh, do you want to go in? One in, really. I should have put two there and two E and then two in the middle, which I didn't. Um, I'm just going to manoeuvre that round like that. That's all I can do. That's how I meant to do it, have it in a circle. So I'll just move it like that. I don't think it'll make much difference that. So I'll leave them a little while. Uh, to make sure all the paint um, goes through. So this is the first time I've tried this um, in a glass clock. I've, I've done a, about six acrylic ones. So um, this is the first glass one I've done. <clears throat> so I'll just see what happens anyway. These would be nice on a opal piece of perspex, you know, rounded opal piece of perspex. I think because the colours would be, you know, would be a lot brighter. Or even clear, a clear piece would be good. Because then a clear piece uh, with the glass, you've got both design, a uh, design on both sides exactly the same. So instead of uh, res resining the image, you can paint it over just in black, you know, and put the pads on and then just turn it over. I'll show you that when I come to show you the coasters. So I'm going to take these off very quick. Um, because it does run. It does run fast when uh, I've gone, gone to the consistency I have. I usually have it a lot thicker than this but I think I only um I use a different glue I use the 
another PVA glue and the, the one I usually use is by Skull which is a lot thicker it's a lot thicker the glue so I think I might have uh, should have put a bit more in I don't know I don't know until I try it let's put some glue so. Right, so I will be just running this on to the um, bit of kitchen wall I have. I need um, I need something for this bench. So I'll just run it on to this side when I've done it. Here we go. Very festive looking. <clears throat> right. So that's it. So um just try and keep it on a second, just see if any cells appear. I have put a little tiny bit of silicone in this for the first time as well. Uh, just to see if I do get any cells. All the other ones, uh, the ribbon glass ones I've done, you know, I didn't put um, Perspex in that, but with the glue, I did get cells, you know, with the swipe. So I think uh, when you swipe them, you know, they do cause cells, uh, but... Uh, kind of see nothing appearing yet. There's two nice ones there, two big ones. And there's some just starting to come through now, some green. I can see them starting to come through. <clears throat> so I'm going to give it a torch and see what happens. There shouldn't be any uh, bubbles because um, I've had the glass stood 24 hours before I've used it. Usually I, I, I leave it at least two hours. Um, before I use it, and then that takes the bubbles out with the glass paint. And just a couple of little ones there, one there. There's, there's not a lot in this, doesn't matter. It should still look nice. Let's hopefully it will run now. Right, I'm just pleased I've got these overalls. <laughs> right, so I'm going to take it down to E first. Down to me. And I can help it a, a bit along as I'm going. Take it over there. Just get the edges first before I start maneuvering it to the middle. Bit thick there. It does get a bit thick here, uh, the glass paint in areas. Just have to keep my movement around. And back and then just this bit down here to do that's it and then back again trying to get it where it looks as though it's all going into the middle That's about right there. So yes, um, that's about it. That's about it for the glass one. 
I am going to do some um, acrylic courses as well this afternoon. So I'm going to um, I'm going to give it a touch and then I'm going to put the little bit of tape on the bottom so that I don't lose everything in the middle. It's nice and rich, nice and dark, like the coasters, so I'm pleased about it. The only thing is, you, you need a couple of pair of gloves. I, I should have double gloved, really. Um, it's a bit like resin. You know, it just get very sticky. That's what I didn't do, taking the bracelet off. I've got a dangly bits on the bracelet. And I've got everything caught in there. Uh, I've got like a white sapphire with the, the J on, you know, for my name. And I've got loads of glass paint stuck in that yesterday. Right, um, I've got a bit of tape here ready, so if I can see where to put <laughs> without disturbing it too much. <laughs> I see it's coming through like mud there. So I'm going to stop that now with that bit tape. What's that? So that's that. So I'll give it a bit of a touch and see what happens. I've even got it all over my hands just with that bit. <laughs> right. I don't think any of you think it'll pay you, to tell you the truth. You never know. There's two little bits there. I want to put on. Two little bits there to close in. And one over there. Just close them two up. I say it's a lot like resin. I mean, I've, I have done resin paintings, you know, over the traditional paintings I've done. And I have done a few um, with the resin over the top of the painting. So I know that this is a lot like it. But the, the glass paints are so bright and beautiful, they are. And with the clocks especially, you don't, you don't need to put a varnish on afterwards. Or resin, so that's gonna you know that's gonna save money anyway. You know, doing the back, doing like that because you don't need it because they're nice and shiny anyway. And when you put them up with the lights, if you do them on clear or opal or white, opal white or cream, whatever that you know, like light colors. If you put them up to the light, then um, they're just like they're just like um stained glass so um they're really good i have um i have got one of my uh, great grandsons in um he's, he's got a little bit of autism and um i've done one for him uh, it is a painting. This is the first clock I've done, but I have done a painting, and I've got loads of cells with that. But it was a, a bit thicker mixture, I must admit. And um, it was dark, and you could just see a few cells, sort of thing, um, not really bright. But when you put them up with the light, then they, they were just like star all coloured stars at night, absolutely beautiful. So um, I gave it to my granddaughter just the other day and um, she says uh, she's going to get some strip lights to put behind us or a light box at the back for his bedroom. So I think it'll be lovely that. So I'll bring it, I'll bring it down for a close up anyway. It's a quick video today. <laughs> I'll be doing another one with uh, some acrylic paints when I mix them up. Right, so you see how bright it is, how bright the the glass is. 
it's absolutely gorgeous I'm in the cabin here so it's um it's pretty dark and then I've got a rich red here that's like sort of a magenta color what's turned into magenta and then I've got the brightness as well going through so that's them so I'll show you um, these are the, the the courses I did yesterday which I wanted this clock to go you know with and some um, and these are glass as well and like you say I did get a few um few nice movements in these like as though the flowers flower shapes and where they So that's that. Uh, I did that one yesterday. That's a black and bronze one. So I might do a clock black and uh, well, not bronze, rose gold. They look the same, isn't it? So that's that. So that's uh, that's the new ones, late the latest new ones. So um, I'll be doing uh, some acrylic ones next. So thank you for watching again.